Robin Daniel 2021 uh, Joshua Wilson writing with Roger Cruz on the art and this issue is set after issue 6 of the book and I feel like when this is put in the trade they'll probably slot it in and there it, it takes before yeah. 6 is it before 6? Yeah. yes yeah okay well either way well, it's before the tournament starts it's, it's, when, it's, it's when Damien gets back to the island when he's been Damien. off talking to the Bat family right whatever, yeah. whatever that him and, fits yeah after Dick gave him the uh, you know the scrim stick you know, um, to remind him of, of the Robins. The, the only way I'm so confident it's before six is it's the editor's note on the very first panel. Uh, well, I, I'm just opening it now, but uh, yeah. like, like I knew when it took place. It was just a question of like what issue that was. But yeah, yeah, like yeah. So, yeah. so it's just after he's seen the Bat Family and he's come back, and the idea is, is that he's got some access to the Bat computer through these sticks, and it's a framing device for him, just sort of like doing some basically some fleshing out of some of the other characters, especially yeah. the new ones. This is, this is basically Robin Secret Files. Kind of, yeah. Uh, and a few of them are... Really, from Secret oh. Origins. Yeah, a few of them are one-page things, but obviously some of the characters get a bit more time. Uh, we spend a bit more time in Flatline and her backstory and her origin. Mm -hmm. We get a bit more on like why Ravager's here, uh, which ties into the mystery of who Respawn is. So, mm -hmm. uh, honestly, I think this is a fine little issue that is going to fit really well into the, the second trade. And it probably should just go where it's set, because... When I, when I was reading this, I was like, you know what? I think I would have enjoyed this more if it was actually just where, where it was set, rather than here awkwardly after the next arc. That we've if this was an done. annual that came out three months ago, yeah. whatever it was now, yeah. Yeah, I would have enjoyed it more. As it is, I'm like, it's fine. I didn't need this now. I could have skipped this. I still think... No, I, it is fine. I think it's worthwhile it's still, though. I, I still think it's worthwhile because yeah. I like getting I like the backstory it. of like Flatline, for example. When I say I could have yeah. skipped this, I could have skipped this this week. Sure. But I don't yeah. mean like, it's not bad, it's fine. Yeah. But I, if if I didn't read this, I wouldn't have felt like I'd missed a whole lot. Oh, is this the one Matt's got the hot take on? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, uh, did you guys know Flatline was Russian? No. No, no that's just to me. Okay. I had, I had zero indication until we get her origin, which I think I, is fun. Like, Yeah, I don't think it really you know. mattered before. Cause, no, like, but I was just like, okay, we're, we're in Moscow. I mean, usually when you have Russian characters... They, they very distinctly accent them, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I mean, but other than giving her an accent, I mean, what they usually do is they'll say, oh, they'll throw in some Russian words here or there to show you that they're Russian right. and say, they'll hey. Vodka. So, yeah. So, yeah. but yeah, you get the flashback where she basically discovers her power when her grandfather dies, and as he yeah. dies, she, like, takes all of his skills, right, and sees kind of what his life mm -hmm. was. And it turns out he was this badass assassin dude for the KGB. <laughs> she thinks that she he was a serial killer. Because in, <laughs> in her processing is just like, oh, he killed a bunch of people. But no, it turns out he was like a KGB weapon. You yeah. Know? Um, and that the people that want to keep that a secret are going to be coming after. And so... And, and a really nice touch to like this that. is that like she kind of hears from him. And it's actually mm -hmm. like drawn the exact same way that Damien's uh, here in Alfred. I thought that was a nice touch yeah. in, in the art. Yep. Uh, really smart really stuff. Uh, so yeah, she ends up like, because she's taken his skills and he had the same power where he was like taking all the skills of everyone he killed, he racked up a lot of skills. So she's immediately very good <laughs> at being a fighter mm -hmm. and being like a, a killer. Yeah. Uh, and she like, so the the priest turns out to be undercover and pulls out some machine guns and she like quickly so, snaps his neck. <laughs> uh, which which all that all that did was remind me of and what was it, Expendables two or three? I now pronounce you man and knife. Um that's all this reminded me of. So cheesy. Yeah, it was cheesy. It was it. it was fun cheesy though. Uh yep. so yeah, our family kind of disowned her and she runs off uh, and goes to uh, Lord Deathman. But then just kills Lord Deathman to take his power or take his skills. Which, you know. Lord Deathman, it just seems like something out of a Valiant comic rather yeah. than anything DC. Not, not that's I mean, necessarily bad. Which I think is okay because yeah, he's, he's a throwaway character to be killed. So, yeah. Fine. Well, yeah, I mean, he, he's basically immortal. He comes back. I mean, uh, that's what I like about him. He's very uh, Morrison y type. Mm. But I understand why he, mm. Morrison brought him back in ink and in his Batman run. Um, but I do like how he basically is only like that because of the Lazarus juice. Um, so them putting that in there, and that's how she ends up on Lazarus Island to go into the tournament. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. assuming the uh, the groovy was supposed to be a Evil Dead reference. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, the, the, yeah, like you say, the, the Bray bit him with Lazarus juice. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, 
So, and then we get, and I, I, I was a little worried that it was just going to be these one page things after this, because yeah. you know, the next couple we get are just these, and yeah, they are fairly minor characters. You get one page for Black Swan, one page for XXL, uh, one page for the Drenched. I did kind of like that the, the Drenched is like a half Atlantean, half Trench. So I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Who had sex with the Trench? Well, how do we know they didn't, you know, that's how it came to be, you know? We don't know. It's a monster. Mm, like that. Yeah. Uh, just questions. I, I will say also, it felt mad scientist-y with the two talking yeah, about it. I'm yeah. not mm-hmm. sure there was any um, copulation. Sure, okay. That's fair. Yeah. That's uh, fair. Also, I like that. <laughs> I forget that Double XL is 10 years old. Um, <laughs> so the fact there's this 10-year-old with titanium-laced hand wraps or, or gloves that I'm sure is deriving power from the hype men. Um, I just, that's such a weird concept. It 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 shouldn't work, but it does. So, but I think that's kills. Yeah, like <laughs> because it's not like we've gotten a ton of double XL, right? It's he's been used sparingly, so um, yeah, I, I do like that. And then we got the Mister Respawn, which turns out to be more the reason why Ravager's here is that mm-hmm. uh, she fights all these ninjas uh, that stole stuff from you know. What she thinks was Destro, but when she goes to the the, the hideout, it's actually yeah. uh, Ravager's old hideout that's been like ransacked. Yeah, her so brother Grant. Yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah. So she basically goes because she wants to figure out who's stolen all of his stuff and like who's you know set you know. And then there's a you know a couple of pages for uh, Connor Hawk setting up his stuff, uh, where he basically woke up after being like brought back, you know, during whatever. It's, it's a two page recap of who the shit. He is yeah. just which, you know if you've never read yeah, anything of it, right. which is probably good for some people actually. Yeah, I think it is. I don't realize, yeah. but also um, but, probably should have been a long time ago in the book rather than in sure. you know random annual I, what, after nine yeah. issues. Yeah, but but I like here that it's here that they just give the quick hit version of it, um, mm-hmm. and basically like he got Doctor Manhattan here. It's funny because. You know, so- um, like you get to the last page, which is basically after this bit, and Robin like th- takes out the the tech because he doesn't want to be tracked, he doesn't want help, mm-hmm. and it, it says you know pick up Robin issue six on sale now, and I'm like issue six was months ago. Like I feel like you may yeah, actually good luck finding that in a store. Yeah, you have hard hard yeah. time like doing that now, uh, which makes me wonder actually if um this was actually meant to be like a few months ago and it I got think pushed. so maybe printing yeah maybe. Yeah. Or, or, like, it feels like maybe they're starting to shift these messages more towards Trades. digital readers. Yeah, or your digital. Yeah. 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 Obviously, yeah, you know, yeah. no need to worry about it then. If if you picked up this issue because it was a just a new issue this week and you like the look of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So there's a little small short epilogue though with Razal Ghul, uh, where <laughs> Talia comes to see him. Not much to it, but. Uh, no, but that plays him in a checkmate. I think that's pretty interesting because that's the Leviathan ship. She left with. Oh, sure. I thought it was interesting as well. Uh, you know, uh, follow Talia's adventures in the page of Batman, which makes sense. Robin, again, right. both of Williamson makes sense, and Deathstroke Inc. So all Williamson books, they're right. going to yeah. be very heavily tied together. Um, and this is, and don't miss Shadow War coming in 2022. Do, am I misremembering, or do, do we know what Shadow War is? Uh, no, I think I think it's, it's a vague recollection of it being mentioned. That it's obviously a story coming up in one of the books. Right. If, if not, it was just, if not it these was that, three specifically. <laughs> it was something I don't remember hearing about Shadow War, mm-hmm. and and I'm wondering because the way that's that's bolded in white in the same way mm-hmm. that the other text is for the names of the books. That mm-hmm. is this a book that has yet to be announced? It, uh, yeah. In, uh, it it could be like an event that spins through those books because we know Batman's yeah. redoing Ink. We know Williamson has this trust organization through Deathstroke Ink, right? And it seems like they're all going to lay into each other. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's a mini. Is yeah. that's I think with, with Williamson doing Batman, Robin, and Deathstroke, Inc. Mm-hmm. And then maybe something, you know, this event that'll tie them together. It, it feels like he's definitely carving out his own corner. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what are you giving Robin Annual issue one, Matt? Well, I'm giving it an eight. Car? I'm giving it a six. It's it's mostly just fine, but um, I like the epilogue. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm splitting the difference and going seven. I think it's a fine issue. Yeah. I think it's a perfectly nice addition to like flesh out some of these characters. Uh, 
But I do think it would have been better read where it actually took place between those two issues. Uh, and I suspect that when they put the trade out, it's going to be there. Because I don't... There's nothing about this that feels like, oh, it's like a prequel where you're supposed to have some future knowledge for some context or some right, whatever. It, it doesn't feel agreed, like that. But surely that first trade's already out or about to come out. It would be in the first trade, though. It would be in the second trade. Oh, because of the backups. That, that, okay, I forgot that. Was, was the first trade just one to four, one to five? Yeah, yeah, it was like it was it was like yeah, the the two the the, the previous the backup they set it up and then like because the tournament didn't start until the second trade, so I think this would go to start of the second trade before the tournament starts. Mm -hmm.